morning guys and welcome to Vlogtober part 5. If you watched last, um, the last vlog you'll know that I'm now in Amsterdam. We've uh, just woken up, it's our first day here so we're about to go and have a little explore of the city. We went out quickly last night but it was quite late so we basically just went out, grabbed some food and came back again. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're in Amsterdam, we've come with Isolly.com, they sorted out our flights and our hotel and we're staying in the Radisson Blue which is really nice and great location. We are literally a couple of minutes walk away from the shops and from the restaurants so it's a perfect location and if you can see behind me the view the canal is literally right there so really nice view from our room um, so yeah we're about to go out and find some breakfast Charlie said that apparently Amsterdam is really well known for the pancakes so hopefully gonna find some nice pancakes um, is that right? yeah yeah just nodding uh, but yeah I'll show you what I'm wearing quickly for our first day of exploring so I think I've worn this outfit several times before on vlogs. Got my Jeepers Peepers sunglasses because as you can see behind me, really sunny River Island roll neck and I've got a thermal underneath as well because it's so cold. My Caravelle watch, um, Miss Selfridge skirt and then these are some new boots from Next. They've got a decent heel height for walking around in them and yeah, really comfy. Uh, so in the room we've got a little desk area got a nice big bathroom, big walk-in shower um, and the toiletries are this works which I think is really cool, it's a nice brand so looking forward to trying those out, this is all my stuff there and then this big like living area, Charlie on the bed, nice big bed, huge windows, a little coffee station over here and Pims, has anyone ever tried Pims? They're like the um, European version of Jaffa Cakes but so much better. Which is a shopping centre that actually I used to call nearly every day when I worked at Mulberry. 
three, so it's really funny going in there. Um, Mold recounter, but I think the Euro is not good to buy any of this stuff right now, so I didn't, didn't buy anything. Now we are in a place called Cow, which I have a feeling is the youngest restaurant to Gaucho in London. One of our friends works for one of in Manchester, so I'm going to have Philip medallions and truffled macaroni cheese, my two favourite foods. What are you going to have, Char? A uh, steak sandwich thing. Steak, steak sandwich with Charlie. <laughs> Intentionally found ourselves in the red light district. Behind me you'll see um, the Museum of Sex and uh, the erotic shop and we've just walked by lots of uh, lovely ladies dancing in shop windows. I don't think you can take this in the front luggage, can you?
had a really lovely brunch at Bakers and Roasters, which was oh, we like ping pong balls, which was a recommendation from one of my friends back in London. So thank you to Farah for recommending that place because we would never have we would never really have walked in there because it's kind of normal looking from the front, but it was amazing. Best coffee we've had in the whole time we've been in Amsterdam. We've had a lot of coffees. Charlie is really excited because where are we going now, darling? Heineken Museum. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and see how the Heine I don't think it's a museum, I think it's just a factory, isn't it? Sorry. Well, it's kind of yeah, like a well, factory, factory tour. Yeah, yeah um, but it's not the actual factory, is it? It's an old factory. So it is really a museum. Pro over here. Look how happy he is! I know. Embrassé! <laughs> <laughs> 